Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Renee Idowu, not Renee Scarlet anymore because I am married. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to be filming my everyday makeup look and um, basically just talking to you guys a little bit and um, just, yeah, I haven't, I've been, I haven't been here for so long, literally. I'm so sorry, As so much has gone on, obviously. I've gotten married and then now we're in quarantine, got this coronavirus. And that's actually what encouraged me to come back because I was like, ah, oh, people probably need some entertainment. I'm bored, I need to entertain myself doing something. So I was like, why don't I just come back? And everyone's been asking about my makeup and stuff a lot recently. So I was like, oh, I need to film a video on what I do. Sorry for my messy hair, I've got it in two buttons right now. Um, by the end of this video, it will be done, nice. But um, yeah, I just thought I would open up like this and then I'll do my hair later um, at the end of the video. But yeah, so um, I've got my mug, my drink. Get your drink, get comfy. And just relax, because it's gonna be a, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but just, you know, get your mug and just sit with me. As you, I don't know if you guys can see but my lashes are kind of gappy and so obviously now we've got this quarantine and um, my lash shop is closed where I normally do it the lady that normally does my lashes her shop is closed so I actually took the liberty to buy my own lashes so I got these just before the quarantine actually from a shop called Pax in Peckham um, and these are Victorious lashes they're three three pound forty nine from the shop and they're the long they're the individuals and they're the long ones, the long lashes. So I've got these and I went online to this shop called, I'll put it on the screen, I can't remember what it's called, Salon System or Salon something, I'll put it on the screen. And I've got these ones as well because I wanted like a wispy texture, so I wanted like a different, different lengths. So um, these are medium length and these are individuals as well. And then I went to get this um, individual lash adhesive so this glue, I don't know if you guys will focus. There we go, yeah. So yeah, I got this lash adhesive from, um, yeah, Salon System, I was right, from Salon System. This is actually their own glue. And um, yeah, so I've been like basically doing it myself, just filling in the gaps. So um, I'm gonna do that on camera with you guys now. I'm just gonna get a bit closer off of my camera. I've got my mirror here. So um, yeah, so it's actually been really good. All you need are the lashes, the length that you want, doesn't matter, whatever you want, however long you want. And you need, you need a pair of tweezers. And what I do is I just get a bit of paper or something that I can put the glue on. I just get a bit of paper, a bit of card, so I can put the glue on it. And then you've got to be careful with this glue actually, it's quite runny. So it comes out, comes out quite like thick. So you've got to be very careful. But I just pour this. Okay, I think I poured about a bit too much, but I pour out just a little bit, not too much. It's very runny, as you can see. Very runny, so you've got to be careful with it. And it does dry quite quickly, so you've got to move not too fast, because obviously you don't want to mess up your lashes, but you've got to move a bit quick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the long ones first. Yeah, I'm just gonna get right to it. As you can see, this is what they look like. And I just use the tweezers to just pull one off like that. And you can see that, but yeah. And then I just dip. I dip the, the knotted bit, you guys probably can't see this. I dip the top bit just in the glue here. Just dip it so it's got a bit of glue, not too much. And then um, I'm actually gonna get really close to my camera right now, to my mirror. I'm just gonna put it in. And I, I pull my eye like this because I just find it easier them in and I don't know if you guys saw that but I just put it in and I'm just gonna carry on doing that and I'm just gonna time lapse it and just you guys can watch me I'm 
come back when they're done. So I know I've kind of stitched up a bit, but um, it just wasn't working with the lighting and stuff. But um, yeah, if I'm looking over here, it's because my mirror is here. So that's why. But um, yeah, so how are you guys been? Like what's been happening for you guys? I'm going in with my Rimmel um, eyebrow pencil in, I think it's black brown. It's kind of rub off, but black brown. And I'm literally gonna just, just fill it in and go, oop. And just follow the, my brow basically. So a lot of you have just noticed a lot of you were asking about my marriage and like asking that was a lot of the questions that I got but I'm actually going to do a separate video with hubby hopefully in it um talking about that but I just feel like at this time right now um I'm not even gonna lie I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm still like my mar not that my marriage is gonna be perfect and I need to come to you guys with something perfect but I feel like I need to like my relationship with God isn't as close as it should be and I'm this is me being completely honest um and um like right now during especially during this quarantine time it's giving me the headspace and no excuse but to get closer to him so at this time I'm using this time to like get closer to God and um basically just like surrender everything to him and I realized that if my relationship with him isn't right then my marriage isn't going to be because my, my marriage is all based around Jesus Christ and it's, he is the centre of our marriage so I don't want to come on here speaking to you guys about marriage and like be giving you rubbish because um you know I want to speak from the word I want to give you scriptures I want to do all that stuff so I feel like it's something that is sensitive and it's something that I need to plan properly and it's not just a blase thing so um, yeah that's how I'll be doing it with my husband as well because I feel like you know, for the men that watch my channel, they can have, um, you know, he can give you his point of view, not just from a female point of view. Because I feel like you see a lot of videos about marriage and it's women, but it's good to hear from the man as well. Um, but yeah, sorry for my dress sense, guys. I'm literally just at home. I ain't getting dressed up for nobody. That you guys are really close but yeah i'm getting dressed up for nobody because i mean i ain't going nowhere i'm literally doing this makeup that's for you guys so i didn't even show you what i just did so now i'm using my elf um my elf concealer so this concealer is actually very light for me as you can see and i actually thought it was um, my color um just by looking at it and it actually wasn't so and so I go and buy my actual shade. I've just been mixing it with my foundation, which this is the L'Oreal True Match, True Match in the colour Nut Brown. So I'm literally just like put it in the back of my hand and I'm going to mix the two together. Just like that. I'm probably going to put a bit more. the two together just to like make a good concealer yeah just just like that and then I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use this brush and I'm just gonna carve out my brows now So yeah, like what have you guys been doing over this quarantine season? Like what have you guys been like, what has been keeping you guys entertained? I've literally, like I said, I've been like trying to draw closer to God and um, yeah, actually for like my married ladies out there, um, or not even, and non-married, you don't have to be married to read this book. Um, I have a book that I've been reading that somebody kindly gifted to me um, when I was getting married, I think it was on my, my bridal shower, and I think it was Pearl, thank you Pearl, she's actually got a channel on um, YouTube as well for her husband, um, I think I'll, I'll link it down below so you guys can check them out as well, but um, yeah, Pearl actually bought me this book, and it's called The, it's called The Praying, 
the power of a praying wife or a praying woman it's one of those um yeah so my, my memory is terrible i'm actually gonna get the book and show you guys but um yeah it's called the power of a praying woman or praying wife <laughs> terrible I, I promise you i've been reading the book i'm just terrible remembering names um but yeah so i've been reading that book and i've been trying to well today i've started reading it properly and um, i've dedicated to myself that i'm going to read it every morning and possibly every night as well um but it's really good it's got like and um, it's got um basically just it's just i'm only on the first chapter but it's basically just um basically about praying for your husband and the importance of praying for your husband and um yeah like it's really good so far like i'm really enjoying it and a lot of the the things that she spoke about even in the first chapter i haven't even really got into it so i'm excited but um yeah even in the first chapter there's a lot of things that i can relate to so it's really helping me in terms of like my marriage and like how to pray for my husband um because it is very important um i realized it's very important to pray obviously pray for everyone but very important to pray for your husband as he's the one leading your home and you have to be a help meet to your husband so um i found that this book has really helped me and it's really um encouraged me and just like it's it's pushing me you know to to be a better wife because that's that's my prayer every time i pray that is my prayer to be a better wife and um you know just be more the woman that god wants me to be and that christ has called me to be because it's hard out here boy I'm not even gonna lie it's very hard out here just to be a woman a christian woman and to be a wife um like once you're actually when once you're married you realize that it's not all like flowers and like daisies so yeah but anyway i'm kind of going into i'll probably talk more about stuff like that in the marriage video but yeah that's a book that i've been reading anyway so if you guys want to go and get it I will also put the name on the screen for you guys and I will put it down below. I'll link it below so that you guys can purchase it or just have a look at it. Um, but it's a really good book, so I would definitely recommend. And thank you so much, Pearl, for getting me the book. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, those are the kind of things that you want to ask for in your bridal shower. You want to ask for like books, you know, things that are going to help your marriage and that, you know, godly things. So yes i really appreciate that um but yeah what else have i been doing obviously if anyone like any of my friends that are watching anyone that knows me you know that i love binge watching on netflix like i love netflix <laughs> it's so bad sometimes i'm like i can like spend a whole day watching like a, i can watch a whole season in one day like i'm not even kidding and um, if i really enjoy something I'm probably gonna get into it so yeah this is my brows get a bit closer and obviously I look a bit crazy right now it looks a bit white but it will blend together when I've done it next I'm gonna use my L'Oreal True Match foundation that you guys want me use to mix so it's, a, it's kind of running out uh, no I mean I didn't do makeup anyway <laughs> because I ain't going nowhere but yeah so yeah i just used my beauty blender to like blend that out but yeah so i've been watching so much netflix i've been watching specifically what have i watched i've watched um money heist or la casa de, pa la casa de papel or something like that it's a spanish series spanish show so it is in spanish but you can use the subtitles and you can change the audio to um, English, which I've been doing. Um, my husband keeps telling me, oh, you should watch it in you know, Spanish because obviously you get to hear the authentic people's voices. But I'm just so lazy. Like I like watching things whilst I'm doing things. So I don't, like I can't, I haven't got time to be reading, reading on the screen and reading what's, you know, <laughs> reading what they're saying. But um, every once in a while, I will change it to Spanish so that I can hear what they're actually saying and hear the actual voices. But guys, it's so good. So good, Money Heist. You definitely need to watch that. And a new season just came out on Friday. 
I've only watched one episode so far of that, but um, yeah, believe it or not, I know I can't believe it that I've only watched one episode. Like by now, I would have watched the whole thing, but I'm trying to be nice and watch it with my friends <laughs> and watch it with my husband. So um, yeah, I've watched one episode. It's so good, so so good. But um, yeah, what else have I been watching? I watched this other show called Good Girls. Um, that's a good show. Um, I've been watching American Idol. I love, um, obviously, you guys may or may not know, but I sing, so I love music. I sing in church. So music is like, you know, something that I grew up, I grew up loving. So um, yes, I love American Idol. And um, yeah, it's something I would normally watch with my parents. If I was like, if I was at home, we would literally all be sitting around the TV watching um, American Idol and like cussing the rubbish people. <laughs> And like um, cussing the judges when they, they like knock somebody out that we really like. So yeah, I've been watching that. Um, that's really good. I hope they don't. They're able to though, like continue filming because I don't know if it's old or if it's like old and they're just like releasing it episode by episode, or if it's like they do every episode they film it every month or every week. Sorry. Um, because yeah, because like obviously with this quarantine and like coronavirus going on, I don't know if they have to stop filming. But I really hope not because it's entertaining me, entertaining me. But yeah, I've been watching so many other things. I can't really think of every house because I just watched so much stuff. But um, it's been good. It's been good. Obviously, it's boring sometimes just watching things all day. So um, yeah, I thought I'd film a video for you guys and edit it, give me something else to do and just like interact with you guys, you know, a bit more because I have been missing you guys, I really have. So what I'm going to do now is um, obviously this, this highlighter, this concealer, sorry, is very light for me. So I've just got some for my foundation on this brush and I'm just going to mix it in with this so that it's not shocking <laughs> but um, yeah I'm literally just going to mix it in with this just adding some oh yeah guys as well you guys probably would not even know this but for people that um follow me on Instagram you would have seen on my hair page that I posted or not even my hair page my actual page and my hair page I posted a video and I posted um, like a comment basically, or I posted a video on my on my story saying that um, I had the video coming out and I filmed this makeup look. And I actually did film this makeup look last week, but guess what? My memory card decided to break and it got stuck in my camera. And um, when I was trying to take it out, it basically just broke apart even more. And um, yeah, so that's why I'm actually re-filming this video because I had another video just like this filmed already. But yeah, it decided to break. So now I've got a different, thank God I have two memory cards. So um, yeah, I had to get this one out, dust this one off and um, basically film this video again. So it is a bit annoying that I've had to re-film this video. But it's okay, it's all good. I mean, like I said, it's not like I'm going anywhere or I'm busy right now. <laughs> but yeah, also actually, um, I am still a primary school teaching assistant. So I have been going into work once a week because um, they have a rotor system that they're doing right now. So the teachers do go in like once a week. So I went in on Tuesday. And then I went in on Monday, I think, last week. So it's been nice to like kind of get out of the house. But there's been like barely any kids come in to, um, you'd think there would be a lot of key workers and a lot of like nurses that would want to drop off their kids to school. But yeah, only been like three kids coming in each day. So um, it's been pretty chill when I go to work. Like it's literally just, yeah, I literally just watch movies with them, play with them. And just go like it's pretty good so i ain't complaining 
it's a nice it's like a nice chance to like get out of the house and the weather's been really nice as well so yeah it's been all right actually it's been all right i know i look a bit mad right now still <laughs> because i yeah i look a bit pale but it's coming together guys okay trust the process it's coming together but yeah so i have been going to work because i guess you could say i am a key worker because i work in the school but um yeah so i've just it's been pretty good like but now it's the easter half term our school is still open but um it's voluntary if you want to go in and i'm sorry but i said to them no guys i said no i know it sounds terrible but i was just like i need like i understand that they want to keep the school open but i mean like i actually like being at home like i'm actually kind of a homebody but i say that i say that but even though i'm a homebody this i'm not gonna lie this quarantine is kind of getting to me because i like knowing like i'm a homebody but i like knowing that i have the option of going out so oh sorry i didn't tell you guys what i'm using so I'm using the Sasha setting powder in translucent, I believe. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm just going to put it over the places that I have put all the highlighter that you saw me putting the highlighter on. Not too much, just a bit. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I like knowing that I have the, I have the freedom to like basically go out, you know, it sounds weird, but yeah, I like having the choice. So now that the choice has been taken away, it feels okay, but it still feels kind of weird. So, yeah, it's a lot of getting used to. But, you know, at least I'm not here on my own. I don't live on my own. I live with my husband, so it's not too bad. It's not like, not the end of the world or anything. So, yeah, so after I've done that, I'm just going to use my brush to like brush it all out brush it all off and um i know you guys are probably thinking oh is she going to um is she going to contour or anything i actually used to contour but my um contour palette my sleek i think i use sleek my sleek contour palette actually ran out and i haven't been bored to go and buy a new one so, I've literally not been contouring recently. I look, I look very well. I haven't been contouring recently. So, um, yeah, because of that, um, luckily enough, my mum, she's got really beautiful high cheekbones and she kind of gave them to me. So, I kind of naturally contour. So, um, yeah, I'm just being lazy. I need to go and buy a new one. But I haven't been bothered to. I actually look really pale on this camera. I don't know why. I don't know why I look so pale. But what I'm going to do is actually is I'm going to like kind of warm myself up. So I am going to put a bit of my foundation, a bit of it on. Because I do look a bit mad. I do look a bit mad. I'm not even going to lie. You look a bit crazy. I don't want to be out here looking crazy, so I'm gonna actually fix that. I think it's that setting powder, you know, that, that setting powder is a bit um is a bit light, is a bit like bright because I did used to use the Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm going to put a bit of it on just to set that part that I was just doing. Okay, I think I look a bit better now. So I've just, sorry, I've just changed the lighting to more of a warm, warmer lighting because I do, it made me look really well in that lighting and I didn't like it. So, now what I'm going to do is I am going to use my Mattifying um, Fixing Spray by MUA. I'm going to spray it on this fan brush. It's 
just a little bit, not too much. And as you can see, I've used this a lot. So I'm gonna use this color. It's obviously basically all gone. I think this is by Revolution. What's it called? The Revolution Get Baked Amplified Palette. So yeah, I've had this palette, palette for so long. I absolutely love it. And you see the, oh, see the highlight you see? Hmm. Honey, I love highlight. Like It's my favorite part of like my makeup. I feel like it just ties my whole look together. Yeah, it doesn't make me look as pale. It kind of gives me like a warm, like a warm look. And I kind of just highlight my, well, my lip, my nose, my eyebrow bit. Okay, my forehead. I basically highlight all the points where the sun hits. And then I am going to use this um, Maybelline Great Lash um, Mascara. I'm gonna just put mascara on the bottom lashes. just like that not too much just a bit and then i'm gonna go back in with my eyebrow pencil that i used before and i'm actually gonna line my lips with it uh, it sounds crazy but i've also run out of lip liner <laughs> and i'm just too lazy to go and get some more and this does the job it does work um like makeup is that's, that's what i love about makeup makeup is like it's so versatile that you can literally use it for anything like nothing is nothing is for something that like you can literally use it for use make makeup however you want to you know it's your face at the end of the day so you can do what you want with it really okay So once I've lined my lips, I use this um, this matte lip gloss. I'm actually not sure where it's from. Like the whole thing has rubbed off. I think it is Revolution or MUA or one of those anyway. I know I got it from Superdrug somewhere. And then I'm gonna put that in and rub that in to my lip. Mm -mm -mm. And blend that out and then I do like a gloss, so I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty in Fussy Glass Bomb Lip Gloss on the top of that. And yeah, I'm just gonna go over the top of that. And it gives me a nice lip. So, my makeup. After that is done, obviously, can't forget, I've got to set it, so I'm going to set my face with the same setting powder, but setting powder, setting spray. I can't leave my hair like this, so we are going to change it now. So, I've just done my hair into this, like, low bun, and this is, like, been my fave, this is, like, my fave, um, hairstyle to do when my hair is out, and it's all natural, um, but yeah, I just love how it makes my hair look and I just like the style of it. So I know I look like a bit of a Mr. Potato Head right now. But yeah, so this is my makeup look. This is um, how I do my everyday makeup. Or not even everyday because I don't wear makeup every day. But when I do a makeup, which is um, most of the time when I'm going to church on Sunday. Yeah, that's most of the time when I wear makeup. But, or if I'm going somewhere. Um, this is how I do it. I don't wear any um, eyeshadow that much. I'm not really an eyeshadow girl. I might get into that. But um, yeah, this is basically how I do my makeup. And um, yeah, this is it. My lashes look a bit mad. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really too happy with them. But I mean, they're gonna have to do it until the shop's open. <laughs> I try my best. 
um, but yes. So um, the I remember telling you when I was telling you guys about the books. So um, the book is actually this book, The Power of a Praying Wife, and it's by Stormy. Where on um, where on um, where written? I'm not sure. I don't want to mess up her name. But yeah, this is the book. Um, and also Auntie Natasha, my auntie, she um also got me this as well, the power of a praying wife. And this is it looks like the same thing, but um this is the actual book and these are the prayers. So I basically um I have been like you can like write in them so i've been writing in them my prayers for my husband and my marriage and um it's a really good book for um any married women out there or if you're not married and you just want to have something good to read and i thought feel, feel like it's a good thing to read before your marriage just to prepare yourself for your marriage and to i know some people they like to pray for their future so if you want to pray for your future husband and you want to start now that's the best thing to do um so yeah, so I would definitely recommend getting both of these. They're really, really good. And I've been loving reading these books. Um, but yeah, so I'll put, I'll put the link for both of them, if I can find them, down below, probably on Amazon somewhere. And um, so you guys can purchase it. But yes, so this is my makeup look. And yeah, this is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any suggestions for any other videos you want me to do, or any challenges, or anything, any videos that you want me to do, you want to talk to me about, if you've got any questions, please, please, please put them down below. Share the video, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell below as well, just to keep up to, up with Hit the bell below as well just so you keep up to date with my videos and you'll know when my another video comes out um you'll get a notification so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye